Hey guys, Pedigwin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install the T Mod Loader. The T Mod Loader is used to run many mods in Terraria, for example, the Tremor mod, the Calamity mod, and many, many others, including small mods like the Boss Checklist and many others. Okay, so let's get started. In the description, there should be a link to this page, and it should look something like this. And what you need to do is scroll down and go find the Downloads section this is what you're going to need to use to download this mod so depending on what your operating system you're using windows mac or linux i'm going to be showing you the steam way to install this if you're using gog or something else you can probably follow this here but i'm going to show you today how to install windows as i'm on a windows 10 pc click here and it should start to download i'm using internet explorer so my download looks like this. Yours may look something similar coming at the bottom if you're using Mozilla Firefox or Chrome. Mine looks like this. I'm going to press save as and save it to my downloads folder. Just like this. It will take a second to download, but it should complete. Now what I want you to do is open your downloads folder. Your downloads folder should look something like this. And it should be relatively easy to find on your PC. What I want you to do now is open up your download or, or open up your zipped folder you can extract the files using programs like winrar which you may already have installed on your pc i'm just going to extract the files now there we go all done so as you can see inside here there's a terraria um, client and some other stuff we're not going to be clicking on any of this stuff just yet but we're going to make our way to that very shortly okay so next i'm going to be showing you how you can find your steam folder so my Steam folder is in my D drive right here. Yours may be in your C drive. I'll put a, a directory on the screen and in the description so you might be able to just copy paste to find your Steam folder. Yours may be in your C drive. You might have to go hunting for it, but you might find it. Mine is in my D drive. So double click your Steam drive. So once you've found your Steam folder, what you, it should look the exact same for everyone at this point. What you need to do is click Steam apps common and then type t for terraria my terraria is down here so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into our terraria folder and what we're going to be doing is copy and pasting all of this stuff into here so just copy and paste it if you want to back up your terraria first that's a good idea so i'm just going to copy the terraria and if i ever want to play regular terraria you can just double click this copy okay so I'm going to copy all of this and just paste it in here. And I'm going to press replace. I'm going to be replacing the old Terraria with the modded version. And we've got our backup here. So if we ever wanted to play original Terraria, just double click this copy. What you can do is maybe make a shortcut, create a shortcut and pop it onto your desktop. If you ever want to play regular Terraria. So now that you've got this installed, your Steam client should load the tmod loader so let's try that now i've got my steam open and i'm just going to press play just give it a second and as you can see my my terraria is loading and you can see at the top left the logo looks a little bit different okay so as you can see the mod has installed correctly as we've got mod sources mod browser and all that stuff so all you've got installed right now, if this is your first time installing it, it should just say no, there should be nothing in here. There should be nothing in here for you. I've used this mod before, so I've got stuff in there already. So what you need to do is just go into mod browser. And then if you type to search, so if you want to find the Tremor mod, for example, you can type Tremor. And there we go. We've got the Tremor mod right here. So let's download it. It will take a second to download. You don't need to move any folders or anything. Using the Tmod loader makes everything very, very simple. So what we're going to do now is go into our mod section. And look, the Tremor mod right at the top is there. So what we do is press enable. And then you press reload mods. And there you have it. It's installing the mod with our Terraria client. And once this finishes, the mod will be ready to play. It may take a little while depending on your computer, but it will finish eventually. So there we go, the mod, the Tremor mod has been enabled. 
But I want to play in the Calamity mod, so I'm going to disable this, and I'm going to re-enable the Calamity mod. So we're going to have to reload once again. It will say reload required. So I'm going to reload that and play the Calamity mod instead. I changed my mind. There we go. That was very fast. And as you can see, I've got a character with some strange armor here. So let's get into game and have a look, shall we? There we go. Look at our character. Our brand new armor from the Calamity mod and all that good stuff. You can see the new mage weapons in all their glory. Would you take a look at that? So, there you go. That's how you install a mod, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, if you're a little bit worried because you may be had may have had some characters or worlds on your previous build, correct? Well, don't worry because if we just go into our folder section and go into my games and then your Terraria, here are your players from your original Terraria. Here are your worlds from your original Terraria. If you go into the mod loader, which has now been added, there'll be separate players and worlds. See, pink rose, pink rose. See, XD, XD. But in the normal Terraria players, they don't, they're not, they don't show up here. So only modded characters and worlds show up in the corresponding um, version of the game. So if you're worried that you've lost some characters, don't worry. They're just the modded characters. If you play your regular Terraria client, the normal players will work. If you want to play Terraria back in the normal version, just remember what I showed you guys is you just double click on the Terraria copy. Once you double click here, your Terraria should load a, a regular version of Terraria. And as you can see, I've got my regular Terraria version loading right now and I'll show you that I have my regular characters on this as well let me just turn down the volume so as you can see I've got my Papa penguin and all these characters and then on this version I've got pink rose and XD so as you can see once again players are all where they're supposed to be in the correct client so if you have feel like you've lost your characters don't worry they're in this folder. Everything should be in this folder. Last time I made a modded video, everyone pan had a panic attack because they lost their characters. Don't worry, guys. They should be here, unless you deleted this for some reason. All right, so that should be me done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, and that should be everything covered. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Remember, I'm using Windows 10, and I, use, I used Internet Explorer for the browser. You may be using something a little different, so it might appear differently, but the concept is still exactly the same. So, without further ado, thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you can play the mod now. Make sure you check out my Calamity mod series, which is coming this weekend. And thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you, and peace out.